Hey guys, it's Gretchen. I'm back with another Plan With Me video. Um, this week I am using the new Erin Condren planner. I have no excuse for this, but you know how planner things go. I just wanted to try something new and uh, see how that goes. So I'm also using the new stickers that just came out from Willow Fields. It's in her Willow's Plan box. You can find her on Instagram and Etsy, and I'll put a link down below in the description box where you can find her mystery boxes. She just came out with these, and included in the box is four set or four sheets of stickers with this mermaid beachy theme and I thought that was really cool for like the last weeks of summer and you know kind of going out with a bang plus I've not seen anybody do a really cute mermaid yet and um, I haven't done it yet so I wanted to give that a try. So that's what I'm using and this washi that I used also came with the kit. I covered up all the header boxes with stuff um, with header stickers that came in the set. They say um, remember to do and end of day. So I used all those and I like my um, I like to use check boxes in the to do section. So um, I'm just adding those in. I like five slots for checklists. So I ended up cutting down those little periwinkle purple looking check boxes to make five in that area and mixing up the colors a little bit which doesn't bother me it's pretty cute I'm okay with that so I'm just using my paper trimmer to cut it down at um, the time of this filming uh, Morgan Willowfields is going on vacation, but she said she might sell the rest of the boxes when she gets back from vacation. So you guys just keep an eye on her Etsy shop and you can definitely get these stickers. They're super cute and very, very good quality. So the first week in September in the Erin Condren is, um, like is gray and purple color and it doesn't really go with the mermaids so I'm just using the other header stickers and you know box stickers and things like that from the kit to cover up the headers it makes everything work together and since there wasn't a weekend banner I'm using the little banners that came with it to make weekend banner I don't mind not having a weekend banner so much because I'll just make my own usually. And it's pretty cute. And I can have all different prints on the little flags. So I'm just putting those down. Trying to space them correctly. Sometimes I get it, sometimes I don't. So we shall see. I also like to put my meal planning in the bottom, which I think a lot of people do, and the set, you'll see in a minute, came with six of these half boxes, so I just used them all for the bottom, and then used a quarter box and another header box to do for, to fill in for Sunday, and that worked just fine for me, but I like to, um, when I go grocery shopping, I don't really like plan out ahead of time what meals we're going to have on which day. So I just put these boxes down and then when I have my list from the grocery store, I you know will write down what meals I have in the boxes and I'll move them around and you know skip certain days and make something different or whatever. But at least I've got it all on that one spread, everything that I've gotten from the grocery store for my meal planning for that week. So it works for me. So I'm just finishing filling in some stuff. My sidebar I like to use for like my weekly task list, things that don't really need to get done on a specific day. Um, I, it's kind of like a running to-do list, like, oh, I need to go get dog food or whatever. I'll just write that in there and say, you know, if I'm at the commissary this week, I will run and go get that. And then I also covered the bottom section of the sidebar too because it's like lime green and that doesn't fit with the mermaid theme either so I just covered that up 
And I've got my binder full of all of my, uh, me and my big ideas. Happy planner stickers. I love these stickers. I mean, I could use them. I use them in my happy planner all the time. As you can see, I have used a lot of them. Uh, probably need to get more, but I was just at Hobby Lobby yesterday and they didn't have any. So I like the little quote stickers. So I'm just flipping through, trying to see if I can find some kind of quote that matches with the theme and something I like what it says on it. So I think I found something, but that little thankful thought box in the corner, I have yet to find a reason to use it. So usually I'll just cover it up with either a sticker or scrapbook paper or something like that. And you'll see in a minute that there it is. I just covered it up with some washi and some boxes from the kit and a sticker. And now it's a cute little focal point for the week. And I usually do stamp in my planner. Um, this is the first week that I've stamped in the Erin Condren. So I'm kind of just trying things out to see how it handles the ink and things like that. And it handled these color box inks pretty well. I've got a stamp from the Planner Society kit. Is that that one? No, this is from Studio Calico. I'm just stamping in the uh, utensil stamp for my meals. And then I've got a stamp from a Coco Daisy kit I got a long time ago that says this week. So I'm going to stamp that in my sidebar to show that that's my weekly task list and then here's the uh, stickers from the planner society kit it's a camera and then like a little box with a play button in it like youtube videos and stuff and i'm stamping two of them at the same time because it kind of keeps them in the same spacing and i use this bottom box as my like social media tracking and like what i need to film this week and making sure that I'm, you know, posting to Instagram, both of my Instagrams and my Periscope videos. And um, you'll see later, I'm going to put boxes in there to keep track of our work schedule and like when I need to pay somebody and that kind of stuff. So <clears throat> the top box I use for my appointments. And so I'm just writing in, um, my daughter doesn't have school on Friday. So I was just putting that so I don't forget that I should not send her on the bus on Friday. And I've got this little stamp set. I think I bought this at either Michael's or Target. It's a really cheap little alphabet stamp set, but I use it all the time. And I'm just stamping weekend on top of that banner that I made. So we know it's the weekend. I mean, how could we not know it's the weekend? But whatever, it's cute. What are we going to do now? I can't remember. We'll figure it out, I guess. Lots of things, I'm sure. Oh, there's me putting those boxes in so I can keep track of our work schedule and what hours we worked for the week. It's good for me keeping track of my Etsy shop. Aren't the colors in these really cute? Got like this rosy pink color and that periwinkle and an aqua and all the little stickers have like starfish and shells and ooh, really, really cute stuff on it. So this is a sticker sheet I just got from Pop Fizz. I'll put her link down below. Um, really cute um, hand lettered little sayings and things like that are cute. So now we're just going to do the decorating and adding my little mermaids in. I try not to cover too much of my writing space because I do write a lot down in my planner. So I don't want to cover up too much space. These mermaids are so cute. This one has pink hair. She's pretty. I showed my daughter and she was drooling over them. So maybe Willow Fields will put out some more later and I can get some more mermaids for her. And I really love how everything is all like pastel-y, but it's pretty. It goes together. It's very nice. My 
I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I'm trying to do a voiceover and there's a dog whining in my house somewhere. A puppy probably locked himself in a room. We're almost done though. I'll go get him in a minute. So this sheet came with some bubbles, so I'm just adding the bubbles around, trying not to get into my writing space too much because I will need the writing space. A couple more mermaids and things like that. A pink octopus, that's pretty cute. Now I'm just going to write in a couple of the things that I know I need to do this week. The flare pins, I just got them and I wanted to see if they would bleed and they did pretty well. So that's about it and I will leave links to everything in the description box and you guys can go check out these stickers and come say hi to me on Instagram and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more of these. Okay, bye!